Sometimes, when people get fired from big companies, they threaten to expose sensitive info. It's messy. Legal penalties, lost trust, stock prices tanking. Now imagine a gallstone doing the same thing. It's been living quietly in the gallbladder. But once thrown out, it turns into chaos. Like the Joker from the Dark Knight movie, clogging the bile duct, causing jaundice, infections, liver and pancreas problems, bowel issues, even death. I bet that stone thought, if I am going down, I am taking you all with me. Hi, I am Gaurav and you are watching Gut Instincts. Let's explore the damage a gallstone can cause when it decides to go rogue. We already talked about the various ways a gallstone can create trouble inside our body in our previous videos about symptoms of gallstones and the size of gallstones really matter. Today, we are not diving deep into every mecha mechanism. Instead, we are doing a brisk tour of the complications they can cause. First, a surprising fact, up to 75% of people with gallstones have no symptoms. The stones are just chilling there, causing no harm. The most common symptom is upper abdominal pain called delirium colic. You can learn about this pain in our other video about symptoms of gallstones. But just having pain isn't considered a complication. Coming to complications, let's talk about the most common complication of gallstones, acute calliculus cholecystitis. It usually shows up with pain in the right or mid upper abdomen a fever and a spike in the white blood cell count, all signs that the gallbladder is inflamed. As we have discussed in earlier videos, this happens when a gallstone blocks the cystic duct, the main exit road from the gallbladder. Now think of the gallbladder as a small stretchy balloon. When bile can't escape, it starts to build up inside. Pressure rises, and the balloon begins to swell. As that internal pressure increases, it starts squeezing the tiny blood vessels that supply the gallbladder wall. This cuts off the blood flow to parts of the gallbladder tissue, a condition called ischemia, which simply means the tissue isn't getting enough oxygen or nutrients. But that's just the beginning. The trapped bile itself is highly irritating to the gallbladder lining. Combine that with ischemia and you've got a recipe for severe inflammation. And here's where things get worse. Stagnant bile becomes a breeding ground for bacteria. Infection sets in, making the inflammation and tissue damage even more intense. If this continues, the cells in the gallbladder wall begin to die. This tissue death is called necrosis or gangrene in medical terms. Now imagine this, the pressure keeps rising, the wall keeps weakening and eventually it bursts. Remember that fired employee analogy from earlier, the one who quietly simmered until he exploded over a minor e email. That's exactly what's happening here. If not managed in time, the gallbladder can literally blow. And when it does, infected bile leaks into the abdominal cavity. This can lead to abscesses, which is a collection of pus, or worse, a widespread inf infection called peritonitis. And that, my friends, can be life-threatening. Coming to another complication, bile duct stones. These are the sneaky troublemakers that escape the gallbladder and wreak havoc down downstream. As we discussed in our video on gallstone size, the bile drainage system in our body is not like the plumbing in your kitchen or bathroom. Bile flows from the outer edge of the liver into a central duct, the common bile duct, where the gallbladder cystic duct also connects. This common bile duct eventually drains into the upper small intestine called the duodenum through a well-guarded wall known as the sphincter of Odi. Now here's the twist. Small stones can sometimes slip out of the gallbladder and get stuck in the common bile duct, usually just above the sphincter. And when they do, they block the flow of bile, which is essential for digestion and for clearing waste from the liver. This blockage can trigger a cascade of complications, some of them serious, even life-threatening. Just like the disgruntled employee we talked about earlier, 
these stones seem to say if i am going down i am taking you all with me let's break down the damage they can cause biliary colic or abdominal pain even a partial blockage can cause intense on and off pain in the mid or upper right abdomen sometimes radiating to the back or shoulder blade this pain comes from the bile duct straining to eject that stone jaundice when the duct is blocked bile rich in a yellow pigment called bilirubin can't drain properly into the intestine instead it backs up into the liver and spills into the blood causing jaundice infection or cholangitis a blocked bile duct creates stagnant bile the perfect breeding ground for bacteria this can lead to cholangitis a severe potentially fatal infection of the bile ducts pancreatitis here's where things get even more dramatic the common bile duct joins the pancreatic duct just before entering the intestine if a stone gets stuck at this junction it blocks both the bile juice and the pancreatic enzymes these enzymes can activate prematurely and start digesting the pancreas itself this causes acute pancreatitis a painful dangerous condition with constant abdominal pain nausea and vomiting gallstones are one of the most common culprits of this condition liver damage sudden blockage of bile duct can cause bile to back up into the liver leading to inflammation and cellular damage if left untreated this can cause scarring known as biliary cirrhosis and eventually liver failure gall bladder inflammation cholecystitis even if the stone is in the common bile duct it can still cause bile to back up into the gall bladder which leads to acute cholecystitis so bile duct stones may be small but they punch way above their weight they block they infect they inflame and sometimes they even digest the pancreas now here's the thing once a gallstone grows beyond a certain size say about a centimeter it's much harder for them to leave the gallbladder but that doesn't mean it stops causing trouble even while stuck it can block the gallbladder and trigger many problems listed above and it just doesn't stop there a large stone can irritate the gallbladder wall persistently rubbing scarring and weakening it over time eventually it can erode right through the wall and into the near nearby tubular structures like the main bile duct or the upper part of the small intestine called duodenum it's a bit like old sewer lines contaminating nearby what clean clean water pipes and yes that kind of breach can cause serious problems including jaundice bile duct infections and intestinal blockages mirizi syndrome this happens when a stuck gallstone inside the gallbladder doesn't block its own duct but instead presses onto the main bile duct from the outside like someone squeezing a garden hose that pressure can partially or completely block bile flow from the liver and over time the stone may erode into the bile duct itself the result jaundice abdominal pain and infections of the bile duct and liver gallstone ileus a very large gallstone often 2.5 cm or more can erode into the duodenum and can start traveling down the intestine eventually it gets stuck in a narrow section most commonly in the lower small intestine it's like a boulder suddenly showing up in a tiny drain pipe food and fluids can't pass through this causes severe abdominal pain and vomiting it's a medical emergency and usually requires surgery to remove the gallstone gallbladder cancer now let's be clear gallstones don't directly turn into cancer but large or multiple stones can cause chronic irritation and inflammation of the gallbladder lining and over many years that can increase the risk of cancer still only a very small percentage about 1 to 3% of people with gallstones will ever develop gallbladder cancer so don't panic the presence of gallstones alone isn't a reason to rush into surgery gallbladder remover may be necessary for specific groups of people we'll talk more about that in another video so while small stones may sneak out and stir trouble the big ones they dig in wear down the wall and sometimes break through entirely they are not just stuck they are strategic so let's return to our normal gallbladder 
the quiet unassuming organ that usually minds its own business to better grasp today's discussion let's use an analogy that might hit close to home remember those old wired earbuds we all had a decade ago back in the old days when battery life wasn't a concern they were durable sure the wires showed a little wear and tear but that minor damage rarely caused any real problems most gallbladders with stones but no symptoms they are just like those earbuds a little flawed maybe but still working just fine now imagine pulling those earbuds out of your pocket and spotting a single loop in the wire it's a minor in inconvenience a flick of the wrist a gentle tug and you are back to enjoying your music that's what it's like when a gallstone causes pain but it hasn't yet led to complications it's manageable quick action can prevent bigger problems but now picture those same earbuds tossed into a bag knocked around and left untouched for days that single loop has multiplied now it's hopelessly tangled mess no beginning no end just a dense knot that's that tests your patience and your will to live that's what gallstone complications can feel like sometimes it's just a few knots you can work through them with a little effort but other times it's a full blown gordian knot so intricate no one can untangle it i've heard people say gallbladder surgery is no big deal and yes it's usually straight forward especially when there are just one or two knots to deal with but when the complications pile up when the anatomy is distorted inflamed and infected that surgery becomes a whole different beast just like trying to untangle a massive earbud mess a complex gallbladder operation can be incredibly incredibly nerve-wracking even for the most skilled surgeons albert einstein once said intellectuals solve problems geniuses prevent them the best leaders prevent disasters the popular ones they show up late with a camera crew and a hashtag so next time you hear about gallstones remember most of them lie low some go rogue and some they just want to watch the world burn i hope this help you appreciate how devastating gallstones can be if your gallstones have started causing trouble don't wait get the treatment before they create major havoc thanks for watching gut instincts check out our other videos for more myth bursting medical clarity bye